Hey guys, Coach Hunter here with Mackenzie. Today we're we'll talking about the fundamentals of kicking and some different options and workouts for you to do at home. We're gonna start off, guys. Any warm up you want. I showed you know obviously jumping rope. If you want to just kind of shadow box a little bit, work on your footwork, you know, moving around, give it a three five minute round. That way we're just kind of generally warm. Okay, you don't ever stretch cold. So we're gonna work on stretching. So this is a perfect opportunity, guys, to improve your flexibility rehab any nagging injuries you may have I mean you know we're not going to be you know working full time here like we would be on our technique so it's a great opportunity to uh, address your dis or deficiencies I should say okay so we're going to work on our PNF stretching it means something you can look it up it's uh oh, so my partner's going to give me their leg okay it's really important that she has her foot flat on the mat, okay? So I'm only gonna do uh, one side here on camera uh, so that we're not gonna waste too much time. I'm gonna lift this, her leg until she says when. Okay, when. And make sure you're like straight, straighten that leg up. Relax, straighten this leg. I can't. Okay, we're gonna hold this for 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds at the initial stretch, okay? Counting in my head. If you don't have a partner who wants to help you with this, you can use a chair at the back of your couch and just kind of lean into it, wherever you feel the stretch. You can do all these steps on your own. Okay, that's about 20, so I'm going to raise it up slightly, keep your heel down. So go a little further into the stretch for about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Mackenzie's going to push down hard at her hip. Push down hard, not all the way to 10. Maybe do 10 times on each side, okay? Now that we've kind of loosened up our hips, we're ready to kick. Okay, a couple things about the round kick, guys. Remember, the striking surface should always be our shin bone. Really important. We're aiming for this bottom third of the shin or so as our striking surface. So if your foot ends up hitting something, totally fine. Um, you know, it's gonna happen, but it shouldn't be the primary point of contact with our opponent, with our target. So I'm facing off my opponent. Three main targets for the kick. The meat of the thigh, don't check. They're not defenders. The ribs and the head. Okay. Come on. Um, right, so those are our three main targets. You can go anywhere you want with these kicks for today. Okay. So we're moving around with my partner. Okay. Just working on my round kick. Remember, my hips turning through are the main things. So I'm stepping off center line. My heel is turning in. So if I want, I'd be at the first. Turn your heel so you can turn. I'm stepping out and turning my heel inward. Okay? So I'm stepping out, turning my heel inward. Boom. And turning my hips all the way through. They should rotate from facing my opponent to facing sideways at the wall. Okay, my leg is slightly bent. I'm not 
doing any kind of chambering. I need no action at the meat. Stepping through, boom. Touching and coming right back. Okay, my partner's gonna go. If you have a partner, if you're using a heavy bag, obviously it doesn't kick back. Make sure your hands stay up. Hands stay up. There you go, nice, nice. Point of contact should be that shin. Boom. Okay? Same thing with the rear sword lead round kick. Remember our different footwork options. Right? I can just step through, turn to my heel. Kick me inside of the thigh if we're in the same stance. Okay? We can do a quick switch. We'll get more detail on that in another video. Okay? Or this a lift. Coming through. Okay, another option would be if I move a little further away, my pendulum kick. Oh yeah, this is coming out with it. Okay, so those are our four options for our lead round kick. The rear side round kick is my 10. The lead round kick is my nine. Remember that's gonna switch if I'm in opposite stance. Okay, now this is my 10 and this is my nine. Okay, for soft spot. So guys, basics of kicking. Very, very simple, fundamental, and usually people go wrong because they're trying to add too much okay they're trying to make it too complicated the tie kick is very simple very direct but it's all about power development okay so the partner's going to go ahead and grab a pair of tie pads if you want to borrow tie pads guys you know get at me meet me at the gym you can borrow a pair of tie pads if you want to have your partner friend hold for you uh totally fine in the meantime we're not using them so feel free, feel free okay so remember guys when you're holding it's really important mackenzie has her elbows turned sideways the camera locked to her ribs okay the top corner is touching whether or not you have the whole pad touching is fine is up to you she can spread her elbows a little wider and have just the top corner of the pads like touching here if you want okay so you can kind of slide them back a little further like elbows further back so it's kind of a comfort thing for you as a holder. Okay, your call on that. But either way, you want the top corner to turn. Oh, the pads are working. Face, like, touching each other. Okay, that's the main thing. If you want the whole pads together or not, your call. Okay? So she's going to bend her knees, okay? Ready to absorb this impact. She's not pushing with her hands at all. Okay? When she, she gets strong arms, she kind of sits down slightly. You know this kick. Okay, so come through. And I'm not really worried about kicking hard. As soon as you think about kicking hard, your legs will be stiff, your hips will be stiff. You're gonna end up, you know, uh, like with a slow, less powerful kick, okay? So I'm just really thinking about bringing my legs straight up to the target and turning my hip through, okay? Side. 